When Ford announced a 10-speed transmission for their trucks, it sounded almost like something out of a science fiction movie. For decades trucks had relied on much simpler gearboxes, and the idea of packing 10 gears into a single transmission seemed both ambitious and a little bit wild. Most of us were used to four or maybe six speeds at most, those were the standards for years and they got the job done, even if they weren't exactly cutting edge. The idea behind the 10-speed was simple, but powerful. With more gears, the engine could always find its sweet spot, balancing power and efficiency no matter the driving conditions. It meant the truck could accelerate smoothly, cruise efficiently, and handle heavy loads with less strain. It promised better fuel economy on the highway, more muscle for towing, and a driving experience that felt both modern and refined. This wasn't just Ford's project, General Motors was in on it too, joining forces with their longtime rival. It was a rare partnership, born out of necessity, as both companies faced new fuel economy regulations and rising customer expectations. The goal was clear, build a transmission tough enough for the demands of modern trucks, but also smart enough to meet strict fuel standards and deliver a smoother ride. Ford rolled out the 10-speed with big promises, seamless shifts, optimized performance, and a truck that just worked better in every way. They claimed it would transform the driving experience, making every trip feel effortless. Marketing teams hyped the advanced algorithms, the years of engineering, and the countless hours of real-world testing that went into making this transmission a reality. No more clunky shifts or gear hunting, just smooth, effortless driving, whether you were hauling a trailer or cruising down the interstate. The industry and customers were watching closely, eager to see if this new technology would live up to the hype and change the game for trucks everywhere. For truck owners, it sounded like the ultimate upgrade, a leap forward that could make their daily drives and tough jobs easier and more enjoyable. The 10-speed was supposed to be the final word in automatic transmission tech, a marvel of modern engineering that would set a new standard for years to come. It was a bold leap, and people were ready to believe in it. The buzz was real, and anticipation was sky high. But as with any big idea, the real test would come on the road, where technology meets reality and promises are put to the ultimate test. And that's where things got interesting, as drivers began to discover what the 10-speed could really do in the real world. Once these trucks hit the road, opinions split fast. The new 10-speed transmission was supposed to be a game-changer, but it quickly became a hot topic among drivers and truck enthusiasts alike. Some drivers loved the smooth highway cruising and better gas mileage. For them, the new transmission made long drives more enjoyable and efficient, with fewer stops at the pump and a quieter ride overall. For these owners, the 10-speed delivered on its promise, offering a seamless driving experience that felt modern and refined. But others had a different story, jerky, unpredictable shifting, especially in city traffic. The transmission seemed to struggle when faced with frequent stops and starts, making daily commutes a headache. The transmission felt confused, constantly hunting for the right gear. Drivers reported that it would shift up and down unexpectedly, never quite settling into a comfortable rhythm. Instead of smooth power, they got a herky-jerky ride. The sensation was jarring, especially for those who expected a premium driving experience from their new trucks. The problem? Too many shifts in stop-and-go situations. Every red light or traffic jam became a test of patience, as the transmission seemed to overthink every move. It was like the transmission couldn't make up its mind, leaving drivers feeling disconnected from their own vehicles. This created a divide. Some owners defended their trucks, praising the innovation, while others shared videos of rough shifting online, hoping for answers or solutions. Complaints piled up, and it became clear this wasn't just a few isolated cases. Dealerships and customer service lines were flooded with frustrated calls and paperwork. The 10-speed's reputation quickly became mixed, with glowing reviews sitting right next to harsh criticism. For every happy customer there was another frustrated by their expensive, unpredictable truck. The sense of uncertainty grew as more stories surfaced. The reality on the road was far more complicated than the marketing promised. What was meant to be a leap forward had become a source of debate and concern. Ford had a real-world problem on its hands, and the company would soon have to face the growing chorus of voices demanding answers and solutions. The issue wasn't broken gears or burnt clutches, it was the software, the transmission's electronic brain, the transmission control module, or TCM, decides when to shift, but its programming was too aggressive, chasing efficiency at the expense of smoothness. 
The TCM kept shifting, trying to hit perfect numbers, not real-world comfort. It was supposed to learn your driving style but often picked up bad habits instead. Owners felt the lurches in gear hunting, but diagnostics showed nothing wrong. Mechanics couldn't fix what wasn't physically broken. The problem was logic, not hardware. The transmission wasn't failing, it was just confused. And that left drivers frustrated and searching for answers. Ford responded with software updates, reflashes to fix the shifting. For some it worked, for others, the problems returned, or got worse. Owners cycled through updates and dealership visits, but the issues persisted. Online forums filled with complaints, damaging the 10-speed's reputation. Ford couldn't abandon the technology, so they kept tweaking the code, but fixing a feel problem with software proved tough. Trust eroded, and the transmission became known for its quirks, not its innovation. Ford was fighting both the software and public perception. Despite the backlash, Ford never considered ditching the 10-speed. The engineering was sound, and the fuel economy gains were real. Billions had been invested, and the design met strict government standards. When it worked, the 10-speed was excellent, especially on highways. The main issue was software, not hardware. Ford believed they could fix it with better programming. Starting over wasn't an option, so they doubled down. They gathered data, listened to feedback, and kept refining the code. The goal make the 10-speed live up to its promise. Ford was determined to get it right, no matter how long it took. For 2026, Ford made a major change, rethinking the transmission's shifting logic from the ground up. Instead of focusing on just numbers and efficiency, Ford's engineers listened to real drivers and their everyday frustrations. Now the transmission holds gears longer and skips unnecessary shifts which helps reduce that busy, unsettled feeling that used to be so common. It's a smarter approach that makes the truck feel more in tune with the road and the driver's intentions. Shifts are noticeably smoother and more deliberate, especially during acceleration and deceleration. Whether you're merging onto the highway or slowing for a turn, the truck responds with a sense of calm and control. The transmission is less likely to hunt for gears, even when towing heavy loads or climbing steep hills. That means less distraction and more confidence, no matter the challenge. It's more decisive, sticking with a gear unless there's a real need to change. You feel the difference in every mile, with fewer interruptions and a more connected drive. The result? A more stable, confident drive that inspires trust. Whether you're on a long haul or just running errands, Ford isn't advertising this fix. It's a quiet correction made for those who notice the details and care about how their truck feels every day. They're finally prioritizing real-world driving over lab test numbers, focusing on what actually matters to people who use these trucks in the real world. The 2026 update is about making the truck work for drivers, not just engineers. It's about practical improvements that you can feel every time you get behind the wheel. It's a shift back to what matters most, the experience behind the wheel, and the confidence that comes with a truck that truly understands its driver. For buyers, the 2026 update means a smoother, more enjoyable drive, the jerky shifting is gone, replaced by a transmission that feels natural and responsive. Fewer cleaner shifts mean less wear and longer transmission life, towing is easier with less gear hunting and cooler operation. The truck is now a more reliable tool for work and play. Ford listened to its customers and made the changes that matter. The 10-speed finally delivers on its promise. For anyone shopping for a new truck you can buy with confidence. This time the technology works for you, not against you.